Well, it's Ellen Page's 21st birthday today, yes. Canada's indie queen is now 21. And so, in honor of the great Ellen, I thought it's time for, well, the Oscar predictions, because they're coming up in three days. So, yes, now there are about 30 different Oscar categories, but let's face it, I mean, nobody really cares who wins, you know, best hair or best makeup. It's really kind of just... Well, no one cares. So, let's just focus on the eight big ones. Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Original Screenplay, Best Supporting Actress, Best Supporting Actor, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, and, of course, Best Picture. Alrighty. Here we go. Best Adapted Screenplay, and the nominees are... Christopher Hampton for Atonement. Sarah Polly, Canadian, for Away From Her. Ronald Harewood for Safantre et le Papillon, aka Daddy Bell and the Butterfly. Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen for No Country for Old Men. There will be bleh, Paul Thomas Anderson for There Will Be Blood. And the Oscar goes to the Coen Brothers, No Country for Old Men. Yes, the most acclaimed film of the year, the Coen Brothers have finally met their due. As much as I want Sarah Polly to win, I know she doesn't have a chance in this category. Christopher Hampton? Well, maybe. Atonement has won some awards, but I really think the, the Academy is going to go ahead and honor the Coen Brothers. Okay, moving on. Best Original Screenplay, and the nominees are Diablo Cody for Juno, Nancy Oliver, Lars and the Real Girl, Tony Gilroy, Michael Clayton, Brad Bird, Jan Pinkava, and Jim Capobianco for Ratatouille, and Tamara Jenkins for... The Savages. Well, this is Juno's first of four awards, and quite frankly, their best chance at winning an Oscar. So, the Oscar goes to Diablo Cody. Yes, yes, I know, I might be voting with my heart a little bit here, but she's already picked up an accolades of awards, and the only other consistent nominee in this category is Tony Gilroy. But Juno is just so much of a different movie that I think the Academy will recognize this truly one-of-a-kind script. Alrighty. Next up, we have Best Achievement in Directing, and the nominees are Paul Thomas Anderson, There Will Be Blood, Ethan Cohen, and Joel Cohen for No Country for Old Men, Tony Gilroy for Michael Clayton, Jason Reitman for Juno, and Julian Schnabel for Safandre et le Papillon. And the Oscar goes to Ian Cohen and Joel Cohen for No Country for Old Men. Yes. Well, as much as I want Jason Reitman to win, he's not. And while There Will Be Blood, it was a good film, and Paul Thomas Anderson did a great job. It's the Coen Brothers' turn, so let's just get over it and move on. Now we come to the toughest category of them all this year, Best Performance by an Actress in a Supporting Role. And the nominees are Kate Blanchett for I'm Not There, Ruby D for American Gangster, Shirsa Ronan for Atonement, Amy Ryan for Gone Baby Gone, Tilda Swinton, for Michael Clayton. And the Oscar goes to Kate Blanchett. Now, this is a tricky category because A, the nominees are always changing in this category, but let's see. Ruby D won the SAG. Tilda Swinton won the BAFTA. Kate Blanchett and Amy Ryan have picked up a couple of awards on their own. Sure, Sharon, a good performance, she's not going to win. 
Amy Ryan, it's a very nice story, and the Academy could recognize her. However, the Academy has a history of giving Oscars to those actors or actresses who have portrayed real people. In this case, Bob Dylan for Kate Blanchett. And she plays a man, so I'm going to give Kate Blanchett her second Oscar in three years. Okay. Best Actor in a Supporting Role. And the nominees are... Casey Affleck for The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford, which could probably win an Oscar for the longest movie title. Javier Bardem for No Country for Old Men. Philip Seymour Hoffman for Charlie Wilson's War. Hal Holbrook for Into the Wild. And Tom Wilkinson for Michael Clayton. Let's just say Javier Bardem and move on, because we all know he's going to win. So the Oscar goes to Javier Bardem. Easy. Okay. Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role. And the nominees are Kate Blanchett for Elizabeth the Golden Age, Julie Christie for Away From Her, Marianne Cotillard for La Mom, or for you North Americans, La Vie en Rose, Laura Linney for The Savages, and Ellen Page for Juno. Yet again, another tough category, as Christie has been the front runner, although Cotillard and Page have picked up some awards all the way. Cotillard even beat Christie on her home turf at the Baptist. Let's leave Blanchett and Lenny out of this one because they don't stand a chance. And the Oscar goes to... I want to say Ellen Page. I really, really do because you all know I love Ellen Page. But the Oscar goes to Marianne Cotillard. Why? Two reasons. Again, the Oscars like portrayals of real people, Marianne Cotillard portrayed singer A.D. Piaf, but also a multi-performance. What I mean by that is a person who acts and sings. In the last couple of years, there have been both of these. Last year was Jennifer Hudson, who act and sang her way through Dreamgirls, and two years ago, three years ago, Jamie Foxx for Ray. So I think Marianne Cotillard will pull an upset and the win the Best Actress category. And... Here we come to Best Actor in a Leading Role. And the nominees are George Clooney for Michael Clayton, Daniel Day-Lewis for There Will Be Blood, Johnny Depp for Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, Tommy Lee Jones for In the Valley of Ella, kind of an odd nomination, and Viggo Mortensen for Eastern Promises. Well, we all know who that Daniel Day-Lewis is going to win this one, so we'll just say Daniel Day-Lewis, and we will move on. And finally... Best Picture, the biggest Oscar of them all. And who are the nominees? They are Atonement, Tim Bevan, Eric Fellner, Paul Webster, Producers, Juno, Leanne Halfen, Mason Novick, Russell Smith, Producers, Michael Clayton, Sidney Pollock, Jennifer Fox, Carrie Orant, Producers, No Country for Old Men, Ethan Cohen, Joel Cohen, Scott Rudin. What else? Producers. And finally, There Will Be Blood. Paul Thomas Anderson, Daniel Lupi, and Joanne Seller. Producers. And the Oscar goes to, in a close race, it will be No Country for Old Men as the victor over There Will Be Blood. Well, there you have it, folks. They are my 2008 Oscar predictions. And enjoy this show. Sunday, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific.